when you are analyzing one of your software, you may have some time to take several memory snapshots at several moments on the software execution. So let's take a look here. I'm starting the software and I would like to take a snapshot of the very boot process. So simply I'm stopping as the execution of the software and I'm going to use the save memory Apple to JS save memory snapshot button automatically is going to create. So that's the very beginning of the software. So I name it boot. Okay, I continue. I'm now in the credit part, title part, I would say. Once again, I'm interested to create another memory snapshot. So I'm going to stop the software execution and I'm going to ask for a copy of the memory. I have first of course to wait the queue to be empty and I can save it. So this time it's a second one I'm going to type it title. Now I would like to have the same but for the menu. Once again I'm stopping wait for my queue to be empty so I get the fresh memory data. I save it again this time as menu and finally I can start the game and decide to take a snapshot of the memory while the game is running. So this time the name of the snapshot will be game. Okay so I end up with four snap memory snapshots Every file is a complete copy of the full memory of the Apple IIgs. The file format itself is not very complex. So basically we put in the file all the memory from fast memory. We put the slow RAM, we put the ROM, we put the doc RAM and a small footer at the end containing the uh, microprocessor register and, and basic information uh, like the doc register, the battery RAM information. So this file can be directly used or open uh, by an hexadecimal viewer. And so when you look at your file, zero means zero, the, the zero offset of the file is the zero address uh, of the Apple IIgs. So having a snapshot of several moments of the software execution is a common way to compare and to find when something goes wrong or if you need to understand what is different between one part and another. Of course at any time and even if the if kegs is no more here you can reload uh, from here your memory snapshot so I can go back to the title screen for example and so from here what I have I can uh, reanalyze and of course reuse everything I have previously like uh, code disassembly and so on so you can reuse the safe uh, of your file uh, for later use what is also um, can be done is uh, the file are uh, the one we use as a memory file format for our software uh, studio which is used for uh, software analyzing uh, and resource extraction so for example here i have um, a way to analyze the content of the memory for example to search uh, for what could be uh, sound so here if I play I can easily find in the memory where are my uh, sound part and so on. So studio is not uh, yet available but anyway the file format used in the snapshot is also the studio one. The idea is to have the capability to save a work in progress. Of course this is uh, just data so you can't restart kegs with this information. It's just a way to store data outside of kegs for later use.